Starting on the monthly, as usual, looking for area sensitivity. I see buy sensitivity turning into sell sensitivity. I definitely see some more buy sensitivity for our bottom zone. So let's identify area of importance. Okay, we've identified area of sensitivity with these zones. Also managed to identify lower highs, which is why we have this downtrend. Here we see price made a strong push to its lower zone. We see confirmation one, which is our first injection of buy sensitivity. Confirmation two, price then came back for exhaustion. Now what is price action telling us? Much like Euro Kiwi, we have a strong move to the downside and an extended move to the downside. This tells me that price is either respecting its downtrend or there was some fundamental event that moved price to the downside. Now let's get in there for a closer look. Boom. So what do we see? Well, we see strong push to the downside with no exhaustion. That means price is extended and maybe there's an opportunity for a long entry. So for the first time in a long time, we see some bullish price action. Now that makes sense because price will see some buy sensitivity hitting its uptrend and also hitting its lower time frame mid range zone. But is this buy sensitivity enough for us to enter long? No, it's not. So let's take it down for a closer look. Once again, we've identified our mid range zone. Every time we take it down, we look for sensitivity. However, I only identified one zone. So pause the video and let's see if you can identify our second zone. Very simple. Sell sensitivity on a horizontal level. Here's our second zone. Okay, let's simplify. We see a strong push to the downside. This is super extended and we're not looking for an entry short unless price breaks its higher time frame mid range zone. This means we can potentially enter long and capitalize on exhaustion. So that's what we're going to look to do. Let's talk about entry one team. Okay, so here we are on entry one. We see that strong extended push to the downside. Here's our first sense. All right, so let's talk about entry one. This is what I require to enter a trade. Here we see that extended push to the downside. This is our first wave of buy sensitivity for a long time just because price is hitting its uptrend and also its higher time frame mid range zone. Now, what have I preached for a long time? We're always waiting for confirmation to on any change in direction. So here's our first impulse move. This doesn't give us much information. This is just telling us what we already know that there's buy orders that are hitting the market. So impulse move is confirmation one. What are we waiting for next? We're waiting for price to come back and retest its mid range zone once again. And we're waiting for confirmation two with the bullish engulfing candle or significant pin bar before our entry long. Your signal is going to look like this. Now, what's it saying? Just wait for the first initial impulse move. Stay patient. Wait for confirmation two and look for entry on confirmation two. TP1 and TP2 are at our lower time frame zones. SL is below its uptrend and below its mid range zone so that if price comes against us, there is some buy sensitivity to protect us. Now there's only two scenarios that would make this trade invalid. If price continues to the upside without coming back for exhaustion, this trade becomes invalid because risk reward is not optimal. If price does come back for exhaustion, but does not find any buy sensitivity and continues to break to the downside, this trade also becomes invalid because it tells us that there's not enough buyers in the market to move price where we want it to go.